mawazo hayo jana tuliona Zacchaeus alisema I want to see Jesus ni mtu wa namna gani na the gap about likuweko ni mama tatu yeye alikuwa mfupi wa kimo namba 2 alikuwa na sifa baya agakaribia watu he was a enemy to the cloud watu alimjua kama mtosha ushuru aliyewatesa and number three, watu walikuwa wengi wamemzuka Yesu and the bible says kulikuwa na sababu ya kutosha Zakayo kusema I'm a nebo. I said to you friends there could be sababu ya kutosha ya kusema you are a na kama kuna tofauti ya watu duniani hii ni effort effort I have come to discover katika huduma there is a space about bidia kwa sababu patikane there is no one nataka mwangalie biblia hakuna mtu reze that god used no hakuna mtu alikaa akawa hana kazi akawa hajui akawa haelewi akawa Ah, uh, how any anything na akawa sasa dia tatumiwa. No way. No way. Praise the Lord. Most people that God used unapata kwamba ako na bi of fulani, ako na bidii fulani, ako na abation fulani, ako na moyo wa juhudi. Sasa ni mtu ambao katika moyo wako kuna fujo kidogo, sio fujo ya vita. Wewe si mtu wa kuabi watoka. Wewe huna akili. Wewe tumekuvuta kazi, hakuna kazi. Wewe ni mtu ambao hautosheki na yale yaliyomo. Kwa maana ndani yako kuna Mungu ambao anainua kiwango chako na unakijua. Hautosheki na yale yaliyomo kwa maana ndani ya Kristo kuna kitu unaona no one should stop you from getting there. Sitosheke because I have two voices. Dani ya Kristo najua vile napendwa na dani yangu nasikia nimeitwa pale. Haleluya. Kama Yesu kwa uda mlango najua dani yake kuna kitu kinaniita na dani yangu nasikia kwamba kuna jabu abalo lina linamlenga linataka tupatane kwa hivyo sasa Yesu anataka watu ambao they are ready to overcome the gap in Jesus name Hallelujah si watu ambao ambao ni wakufuata mambo vile uliyapata ni mtu wa kufuata ukweli kama ulivyojua kutoka kwa Bwana aliyekuita Christ is Lord. Christ is Lord. Si mtu ambao ni wa kuambiwa hakuna njia and yet kuiko. Ni mtu wa kujua kwamba wanadamu anasema hivyo God you make my way. God you make my my way. Nyinyi mlio hapa. Do you know you don't need anything else? You just need to change. Janet Do you know the way you are ukibadilika tu things you allege themselves vile umebadilika It's true Bwana inua sana Let's see we are we are seeing that topic we are overcoming Let's see this issue in the book of Mark uh, the book of Mark ndio ilikuwa injili ya kwanza kuadikwa ni injili ya matendo is like the acts of Jesus Now Mark chapter 2 Nataka muangalie something here. Na munia, and then tuone kitu abacho kilikuwa ndani ya watu na kitu abacho kilikuwa katika Mark chapter 2 utaona watu mama matatu watu wanaohitaji Kristo aliye ndani. Hallelujah. Let's see the scriptures. Bible says akaingia Capernaum. Tena baada ya siku kadha wa kadha ikasikiwa ya kwamba yumo nyumbani. And again he entered Capernaum. After some days it was noised 
that is King James Version, it was noised that he was in the house. Hallelujah. Now, uh, now one thing I like us to, to, to know is this. Anytime you leave, mara nyingi sana kuna mambo uta confirm kuhusu Yesu. Ni vibaya sana umuhisi Yesu the same way throughout. Do you know the Bible says mutafuteni bwana maandamu anapatikana. Hallelujah. Katika ijiri nimegudua kwamba a uh, manifestation nafasi za Kristo kudhihilishwa. They sometimes they change. Look at this situation. This is a situation whereby Jesus aliingia. Do you hear that? And number two, and it was hard na kukasikiwa ako area. Na katika huduma, katika maombi, Jesus sometimes anatuletea news. Unagudua kwamba hata kama nimezoea kukaa kawaida kuna kitu nimesikia kinatendeka hata kama kuna ukawaida wa ibada kuna ukawaida wa maisha lakini katika nafsi yangu of late kuna jabo nasikia na ni vibaya sana wapendwa ukose kuelewa mara kwa mara jabo fulani Jesus of late unasikia something is happening kuna kitu nimeanza kuhisi tangu last week kuna jambo nime notice tangu asubuhi kuna uwepo wa Bwana ambao nahitaji sasa ni upatie umuhimu let me ask tell something watu ambao walisoma Yesu wakamuelewa wakamzoea hao watu wanasubua Yesu sana kwa maana unazuia Yesu nafasi anazoziita special visitation special manifestation special touch special revelation you deny Jesus those chances kwa maana Kristo katika hatua za maisha he can never be the same throughout ikifika mambo ya utendaji wa kazi maybe dada uko katika nafasi ambao Mungu katika akili yake alipanga atakutumia sana lazima kutokee kitu unahisi hata kama hujui you sense na inaonekana kuna jabu Bwana anataka kuniletea those things should be known hallelujah there are times jesus anaamua kukuletea neema ambao hujaijua that, that's how god works hata mary mary mwenyewe wakati ejo gabriel alitokea haimaanishi ejo gabriel hutokea kila wakati alimtokea akasema oh akaba mary you are honored such a situation you need to sense it Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bwana sifiwe. Yes. I said to you friends, ukika a whole year na hakuna wakati ulihisi Bwana amekukaribia akitaka jambo fulani then kuna hatua za mpango wa Mungu umemiss. That's why mnaona Musa burning bush sio kitu kilikuwa cha kila wakati ni wakati ulipik ulifika kukawa burning bush Moses akasema things are not as usual there's a burning bush wacha nigeuke nitazame wapendwa things cannot be the same way through the year lazima kuwe kuna wakati bwana alibisha mlango na hukujua lazima kuwe katika ibada ya kanisa hili kuna wakati 
Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. You know somebody told me wakati nilikuwa ninatagaza we are millionaires. Yeye nikiongea nikasema baadhi ya watu hapa kuna mlango tafunguka where the America the optimism millionaire dream. A brother who was there got the word. Akabia bishop hiyo nilishika. Ndio na kaanza kuamini hivyo. Within three months akajipata kwa America. Akanibia bishop kupewa visa America embassy. I went with the prophecy. Labda you are included but huku uliona ni ibada tu ya kawaida ikaisho kaondoka. I'm announcing now. Kuna wakati kuna tendeka kapa kama kapa now. Kwamba again he entered and it was hard that he was in the house this visitation was not kawaida hey hey eh hey, si ule wakati tunasikia ako ngambo ile si ule wakati tunasikia ako bethandi si ule wakati tunasikia kwamba ako kwa mwingine leo ako kwetu it should be known he is around hallelujah hallelujah na waambieni na nasema nikiwa beza bwana wewe umezoea kuketi hapa uketi hapo kukaa around na nini you need to be very careful you need to be very careful hallelujah in the man of god or woman of god mungu aliweza kumtumia he was sensitive to a season i say in the man or woman of god na any father or mother ambao ameleta mabadiliko kwa family ni mtu alihisi utembezi wa Yesu kwa jia fulani wakati fulani na akaushika I announce to you friends hakuna mama kwa hii kanisa hakuna mzee kwa hii kanisa atakiwa amalize six months bila kujua hata mwezi bila kujua wakati wako wa kutembelewa if you are not sensitive utakaa na hadithi za ukoo utakaa na mapigo uliozoea utakaa na laana ambazo nyinyi huongea kwa familia yenu utakaa na story za kusema you are rejected utakaa na story za watu kusema hausalimiwi watu hakupendi bwana anataka kuondoa hizo stories aweke yake aweke yake bwana anataka kuondoa mambo fulani katika akili ya watoto wako aweke yake twasema kutoka leo in the family in this church hata kama nyinyi ni wa ukoo fulani hata kama nyinyi ni wa clan fulani twataka tukija kwenu tuabua this family haifanani na other families kwa maana one day jesus came and it was noticed he was around and you never ignored the visitation pigia yesu makofi hallelujah we normally hear somebody saying unakuta mtu hallelujah and one day one day bonke wakiwa south africa there's this mighty man that he to pastor gidi pastor gidi is a preacher Ujamaa angeenda kwa kichaka anakaa siku 20 fasting anatoka anaoga anagia crusade and miracles would happen is a preacher in America wa apostle faith ambao si mara moja au mbili amefufua wafu Bonke dia alikuwa anapanga crusade zake na Bonke was a planner crusade angepanga na angetangaza a man of god is coming but one day Mchugaji Gindi akaja na mke wake. Akasimama saa hiyo bonke amevaa trousa ya kazi bwana hata ana time amevaa jacket kingine. Anasema here comes the man of God. Now Pastor Gindi akasema bonke we are not preaching. Pastor Gindi alipita hivi na mke wake akaondoka. Akamwambia thus says the Lord from today you are the preacher. and now bonke cried and he discovered now ninazaliwa kwa jengine 
And that time bonke akiwa jamani akiwa kijana akaenda kanisa moja alialikwa mkutano mkubwa sana. That time bonke alikuwa amemaliza chuo and he was driving a bit of Volkswagen. Alipoenda akafika kabla ibada akapata dada moja Dickones dia napanguza viti. Akamwambia how are you? Akamwambia sister how are you? Akamwambia is okay. Oh, akamuuliza kwa hii mkutano unatarajia nini? Oh mama akamwambia Bonke the only problem pastor wetu alifanya ni kualika mhubiri ambao hana ujuzi. Mhubiri kijana aitoe Bonke. Bila kujua ni Bonke mwenyewe anaambia. We are not expecting much because pastor amealika kijana ametoka shule. Bonke akasema alisikia kama moyo umeingia kwa viatu akatoka. Haleluya. Akaenda kwa gari yake bito. Bwana akamwambia no, I'm around. It's your season. Bonke alipokuja kuna kitu moja alisema akiwa na kuhubiri hivi the Holy Ghost at hage gojeda katano watu wakaanza kupona wengine kujazwa na kwa maana ule mama alikuwa amekaa hapa huyu mama alinama na akalia sana you need to know nilini mlango wako nafunguka because there how comes umekaa katika nyumba ya Bwana 5 years the same way throughout there's a day you ignore visitation how comes umekaa kwa biashara the same way in two years there's a day you ignore visitation i'm telling you hakuna mtu hapa atakiwa kuwa the same we want to write at wewe gospel yako tuseme na yesu akaingia kwako na ukajua he has come jesus is lord Jesus is Lord. I'm declaring that season. I declare that now from today, majira yako tayajua. Utaelewa your burning bush. Burning bush haitokei throughout. Burning bush haitarudiwa. Kama Moses hageshidwa na nafasi yake ya kujiliwa, asigeuke itazame, mwito waka hugetokea. I say don't ignore it, friends. God can start speaking to you kwa kwa matato do don't ignore. You need to know when Jesus has entered your city. When Christ has entered your mind. When Jesus has come. Hallelujah. Jaburapidi. Watakiwa kujua. Christo akingia. The kind of power. And the changes ataleta. Bila kuambiwa. Uwelewe. Kristo hawezi kuja hivi na nibaki nikiwa mtumwa. Majira ya kutembelewa ni majira ya revolution. Ni majira ambao kama kwa kuna mulevi lazima badrike. Kama umekuwa na arthritis lazima ipone. Kama umekuwa na homa haiponi ujue now this special revelation must now do miracles. Kama katika mikono yako unashika pesa lazima uelewe the visitation of Jesus will change what. And that's the Bible says in the name of Jesus. If the Bible says kwa ba wakakusanyika watu wengi. Kusibaki nafasi hata mlangoni akawa akisema nao neno lake i would like us to check the scripture and straight away many were gathered together it is one thing to gather is another thing kupata network you see amen it's very easy umtazame utukufu wa Mungu hivi. Na uwe ulikusanyika na ukakusanyika around utukufu wa Mungu. But it's another thing uelewe the network you require. Kwamba Jesus can be here. You gathered and the only thing ni kumtazama tu na ukaenda. From today, you need to know Jesus. Kuna hawezi kuja. 
na kukose kitu. And because of that, raise your faith. Hallelujah. Bible says now, there are two groups. Kuna wale, who knew Jesus ni mugeni asia wa kawaida. Are you understanding French? Hallelujah. Wakati president anaeza ingia bahati, kunaeza kuwa kumekusanyika watu elfu kumi kumuona. Lakini kuna ule atajua president hawezi kuja hapa bule. I must make the right use. Sisi si wale watoto wanakusanyika kuona. We should change from that. Sisi spectators wakuja kula haya ni mgeni hapana. Sisi we must tap something. We must receive something. We must get something out of his power. Utebezi wa Yesu Jesus cannot just come. Let me tell the truth. Anybody who is big and who is king and who has power Hawezi tebea pahali tu kujulia watu hali. No. Huwezi kuwa mfaume. Uwe useme nilitebea pahati tu kusalimia watu. They should benefit from your power. Huwezi kuwa mutu mkubu waliye na wezo na pesa na baraka. Iwe kwamba ulitebea tu kwa mamamase kumujulia tu hali. E, guvu ya mungu si ya kujulia mtu hali Guvu ya mungu ni ya kutendea mtu kazi na kukuletea faida He hallelujah Bwana wezi kuja na brada huna pesa Ajue huna kazi Ajue mke wako ni mgonjwa Mutoto wako amepagawa Iwe kwamba mungu alikuja tu kujulia hali And yet he is the king of kings. Oh my God, you must benefit from the power. Amen. Jesus, I worship you. Jesus, I worship you. What to apostolic faith? Sasa mambo ya kushika Yesu ugeni kama tu anakuja kusalimia kanisa iyo muache. We must benefit from his visitation. He is so great. Kwa ba kutebrea mutu. Lazima kwe na faida. Hallelujah. I pray that your family haitakuwa family tu ya kuspectate. Hallelujah. 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 You know one time President Moyo Moyo Zamani alitabia ikanisa hapa. I think ilikuwa mazishi ya kahehia. Bishop. Now. Yeah. Wakati huo. Ukiza pastor ya ni mutu wa alikuwa mutu wa savea. Katiba ilikuwa nasema guvu yote ya inchi ya Kenya ikona laisu. Mashaba yote ni yake. Laisi ya gesema uwe de central bank upewe 200 million aseme uptapewa na hakuna swali na hapre kutini. Guvu ilikuwa na ye. Haya agalia amekuja mazishi. Wakajua Hii nguvu yote ya moi. Ije tu mazishi pekeka hende. Akabua laisa apana. Kanisa imeja, ploti ni ndogo. Mahali ya shure imejengo, siju ni eka tatu ni eka ine, ilikuwa open space ya serikali. Wakabua laisi ishaba, tupatie. Moi alinyosha tu fiba, wasema na huku na mpewe yote. Guvu haiwezi kuja kwenu. Iwe kwamba ilipita. Bila kufaidi. Mm. Hallelujah. From today, we will tap the power. Nataka ni tukikana ya mbaka kumi. Tuone record. Ya mabo kama tano. Imetokana na bwana kukutembelea. Ha, hallelujah. Mwezi wa januari, tulipo kuwa na maombi, tulipo kuwa na revival, niliguza mazirake, nikatedewa hii. Mwezi wa april, nilihisi buwana, ananitembea kwa jisi ya kawaida, na hapo dipo mrango wangu wakoda biyashaa zaidi olifunguka. Mwezi wa june, ISS mubwa na tembelea kanisa, na sauti ya watu kuwa milio, nikabali, hey, nikajua hii hainiachi, I have to get from his power. 
kwamba mwisho wa mwaka wayashirika mambo kama ine ambayo inatokana na special visitation hizo ni mieni kama mnaelewa injili in jesus name in jesus name and that's why utaona hapa there are two groups one kuna wale waliingia kwa nyumba mahali kristo alikuwa kumuona tu na hamu amuelewi ndio alijaa kwa nyumba but i give god praise because of people who are sensitive to special visitation of power anointing and grace verse 3 says hallelujah na that compare a mark chapter 2 verse 2 and 3 verse 2 inasema waka straight away many were gathered together in so much that there was no room to receive them no not so much as about the door and he preached the word to them these people gathered there was no room to receive them he was teaching the word that's all but when you go to verse 3 hallelujah kuna watu alisema this visit lazima itufaidi kristo hawezi kuja hapa na mtu wetu ambao hajiwezi miaka na miaka atwe there should be benefit of this visit bible says and they came to him bringing the sick ha wakaja watu wakamletea mtu mwenye kupoza anachukuliwa na watu wane did you see that how sasa wanajua mwenye anaongea pale najua hata ka we hii kutembea kapra nao hata tembea tena hivi karibuni sasa akitoka hapo labda ataenda Jericho akitoka Jericho ataenda Jerusalem na labda akitoka Jerusalem atasurubiwa ehe haleluya this visit si ya kuchezewa haleluya kukana yeye tu muangalie tu msikize haitoshi we need to know such a moment anything can happen the dead can rise from the dead hallelujah such a moment aeza sema ye shaba yue wako such a moment aeza sema upone such a moment he can release prophecy such a moment he can confirm your destiny such a moment he can open the eyes of the blind me mistaki the katano ziisha na yesu ni kumuangalia tu hivi such a moment jesus can heal my mother pia u yesu makofi hallelujah hallelujah to God be the glory. And that's why how watu wane. Waliona watu tu anakakwa yon nyumba. Wakajua. I wish these people. Wagerudia. Wazazi wawa mbao mepagawa. I wish these people who are just watching akifudisha. Wagendea vijana wawa wana uvuta banki. I wish these people. Ambao wana mtazama tu hivi. Wagendea wale mavu wawa. Kwa maana hii nguvu siya kuagaliwa tu de katano tu aravu yende. We need to tap the power. Amen. Wenye kuleta mtu alio poza. Walifika kwa mlango. Walio dani wameja. Ata mlango umeja. Wao hawa kuja tukusikiza. Wao walikuja wakijua. This visit itatufaidi. Nataka kusikia mungu walipo tembea siku fulani. Dio liunua ili gali. Bwana lipo tushukia kanisa tukua kwa hore communion. Dio doa ya kwa liponywa. Bwana alipo shukia kanisa kwa revival kwa kesha. Dio watoto wako wawiru lipata na fasi kuenda ngambo. Bwana alipo kuwa kitembea katika mande fellowship. Dio ligudua kwamba wakati wa brada yako abo ni kipofu. Wakuponyo mefika. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. 
Nikwarapia mchungaji wa Juja, Triada Juja Sunday. And I remember I was dedicating washirika wapya. Na nika sense Jesus is in the altar. I sensed. And I said, Jesus, see you say, do you know something, friends? Wara watu walikuwa hapa wawili. Mimi sijui. Nika sikia bwana kinia. Nika onyeshwa vision. Nika sema hapa. Bwana naniambia kuna mtoto wamepotea. Kumaliza. Baba ya mtoto. Mimi sikuwa hata sikuwa najua ni yeye. Nika mpata kuchini ya nalia machozi. Sasa nikuwa ni meangalia kanisa hivi. Nika sema the I see a vision. O mtoto. Ako hai na natokea upande wa vika. And then Jesus was there. I said, Jesus, nasikia uko nami. Sitaki kuondoka. Guvu yako inakitu. Buwana nenei kanisa. Hallelujah. Kumaliza. Wana kambia kuna mama hapa. Ambaye anaenda operation kesho. Tumbo yake mekua hine muambie. Only to know. Dia likuwa hapa bele yangu. Nika mpata chini. Jesus. Amen. Hatembei tu Mutoto alie potea Akose kunenewa Muulize buwana What are you saying about my lost son What are you saying about my daughter Abaya nakunywa pombe What are you saying Jesus About kazi yangu Kuna wakati unahisi Na kira kita Nenwa is final Hallelujah let me something. Any time utakuwa na kitu mungu amenena maisha ni mwako. Sio chocho cha kawaida. It is final and permanent. That's why Jesus alipoponya mwanamuke alie toko na damu alimuambia enda na huo musiba usiwai rudi tena. Hallelujah. Now these people now what did they do? Watu walio kuda kuwa pale walizuia wakapitia juu ya roof kama hii kufika hapa wakatomboa wakatoa some bricks jesus saw them hata msikize kitu about interesting mujue jesus always expect to see faith umekaa hapo uko na shida ya tubu do you know the power of god is here the only thing Christ anagojea ni ujue, he is here to heal you. If you don't do that, you can't be healed. Are you understanding now? Let me prove something. Si Christo ako hapa anafudisha watu walioja kwa nyumba. Haya. Si wawa wametokea juu watu wane wamebe muko godoro. Now, nata mjue kitu. Kama Kristo kusimama kwa hiyo nyumba afudishe. Dio jabu likuwa la muhimu sana. Ageabia hawa watu. Gojeni ni malize kufudisha hawa. Wakati Bible says, Amen. When he saw their faith, aliata shukuri za wengine watu wa nao mutazama watu hivivi. Akasema, oh wonderful. Akasema, son. Your sins are forgiven. Kine krimshangaza ni kwamba walio kuwa ndani wakaaza kurambika. Wakiuliza nani huyu? Nani huyu asamaya thambi? Oh, I tell you, Jesus stopped. Haka sema sasa, let me do something. Hawa watu wakamteremusha. Jesus akageuka. Haka ambia hawa watu. Diyo mweze kujua mwana wa mungu, mwana wa andama, anangufu duniani za kusamee dhambi. Haka geukia mwenye kupoza. Haka mambia inuka, chukua godoro, enda nyubani. Hallelujah. Baya sama nipo chukua godoro, haka tembea hivi, watu waka ondoka. And they all give way. Now, if you check the scriptures, Baibu haisemi Yesu aliedrea kufudisha. Ni kama Yesu alimaliza kazi. Akaondoka ujama. Kwa maana, Kristo hezika 
hapo tu akae hapo nguvu ya kuponya iko hakuna mtu anaitumia nguvu ya kusamehe iko wenye kusamehe hata hawaamini nguvu ya kurejesha your brother aliyepotrea Mombasa iko mwenye akona hiyo hitaji haelewi kwamba Christ can speak a word I remember one sister I can't forget that day tunakula meza ya Bwana nimeshika mkata hivi nasikia Jesus is around I, it's good to know when Christ is visiting the church nikasikia Jesus is around nikamwambia Bwana I sense kuna mtu naponya leo Bwana kaniambia is true nikaonyeshwa pande siku najua nani pande ya kanisa nikasema kuna dada ametoka hospitalini na daktari amekdiagnose uko na saviko cancer na wamesema hutazaa na wamesema uanze kama therapy bwana asemo kikula mkate huu cancer itaisha mara moja kumbe na yeye alikuwa ameambia bwana pale kwa mlango jehova nikiingia hiki kanisa leo kwa holy communion ongea kuhusu that cancer watu kama hao bwana anawahitaji sana watu wanaojua nguvu ya Yesu katika meza ya bwana nguvu ya Yesu katika revival haiti tutukae tuangalie hivi somebody should know this power can heal me this power can raise my family this power can restore my marriage nawaambia bwana leo sio doki i want to be healed utashaga god you locate you Hallelujah. That's why jana niliwaambia Zakayo alipotamani kumuona Yesu ni mtu wa mna gani na akakimbia mbele na akapanda mkuyu Jesus ignored all others. Akamuona yule ambao ana interest. Si upendere wako naye. But Christ agetaka watu wajue he has all the answers. He has all the power. And that's why Jesus ujama alipotembea Bible inasema alipopita hivi watu wakasema by the way si kuamini waliamini waponywe ni kusema sema hatujaona namna hii nadhani muangalie wenye wenye wametedoa muujiza si kujaribu walikuwa wanajaribu they were sure Jesus is the healer wenye walikuwa ndani hawajui wanabahatisha hawana utayari hata wakati huu jamaa aliponywa hawakupata ufunuo aseme we now know you are the healer walisema namna kama hii hatujaiona they could have changed the price waseme we now know you are the healer we now know you are merciful lord we now know you are great i am wagesema yesu we now know tumejua sasa tumekosea kukuinukia you are the hope of glory wagesema siende touch us time has come we overcome the gap the lord has told me there is a great gap in the church umekuja kanisa unajua kabisa uko na arthritis na huja why take advantage of god's presence umwambie bwana today nenea hii hali yangu in jesus name in jesus name in jesus name you know it's good to pray one time kuna wakati nikaanga god you know it's good to know hata niko kanyumba nasikia yesu uko around kuna kuna jabo and then a voice told me yes can you send this money kwa dada fulani sasa siku nenao mauponyaji nikatumekambia my sister hiyo si pesa ambao nimetuma kwa kufikilia tu a voice imeniambia that lady cried ambia bishop nilikuwa hali baya nilikuwa katika hali ya kukrash ningeisha aibu isiyo kawaida it was interesting kambia god has spoken receive na mimi nimeenda shughuli zangu have you ever noticed kwamba umekuwa na ugonjwa 20 years na kuna siku Yesu alishuka kwa bedroom yako kwa ibada kwambia Jesus speak something about this cancer 
na ikawa kwamba Kristo ulitumia nafasi hiyo nguvu zake zimtoke zikuponye in Jesus name hallelujah now listen carefully now who jamaa aliponywa na akaenda now you see if you check verse 7 badala ya watu wengine hapo to discover the power walisema bona huyu mtu anasema hii hivi anakufuru even when jesus healed they could not perceive kuna watu ambao walikuwa ndani kila wako nacho sio sensitivity sio kuhisi ufunuo kwamba sasa nimekuwa we nimekuwa mtu wa hadithi na maoni mtu wa madhihaka mtu wa kuinukia wengine lakini sasa nakubali kupata ufunuo nimejua Kristo unenea watu can you change friends nimekuwa mtu kila wakati wa kusumbua wengine but now i change i know jesus can raise the dead nimekuwa mtu about tukikuta kine ninaongea ongea tu ovyo ovyo lakini nimejua kuna nafasi ya kupata ufunuo na mwili kwa Yesu but now these people this group this group hata kama walisema namna kama hii hatujaiona Kristo alipokuwa zobaliza kukatokea siasa ha mwenye ameponywa wanajua Yesu ni mesaya mwenye kuponywa anasema kisema na tumetebelewa na mwana wa Mungu aliye hai but there's a group inasema mtu huyu they, are, they, they don't know he is the messiah they are talking about mtu huyu mtu huyu nataka sasa tuwe delivered mara nyingi katika families mara nyingi katika makanisa watu huogea mambo ya watu watu huogea mambo ya maoni time imefika all this iwe ni blessed na nafasi ya kufunguka tumwambie Yesu now touch me now and raise my life in Jesus name overcome the gap overcome the gap overcome the gap hallelujah now get we get again you see these people walipozuiliwa kuingia tamskize kama wangezuiliwa na pale kwa mrango waende tu nyumbani wageenda kuna kitu katika imani ya mtu ambao lazima kiwe na tabia na kitendo cha breakthrough naudia tena haleluya kuna juhudi katika kila mtu iko katikati yako na Yesu ambaye inahitaji uwe na ukali na uwe na ukali fulani si ukali wa watu ni nguvu fulani ya kuamua nimeamua hata kuwe nini leo siachwi there is that element about is extraordinary there is kuna kitu kinapita ukawaida wa mambo ukawaida wa mambo ni kwamba ukifika kwa mlango na kumejaa enda rudi kesho lakini kuna kitu kingine bwana nataka uongeze usiseme niende nirudi kesho i want to teach you about miracles most miracles happen because ulikataa hiyo sauti most miracles happen because ulikata ukawaida haleluya kuna mama mawili usubua mtu hali iliyomo nimepata vile mambo yamekaa haiwezekani ulikuwa uajiriwe set ho ukasema nimepata vile watu wamesongomana hapo ah na kazi ni tano ah siwezi pata kuna kitu kinaitwa kupata hali isiyo kupatia ujasiri wa nafasi nasema vile kumekaa a a siwezi pata acha niende i would like you to overcome that special so many people went 
na ukatoka uli hu wa watu si walipata nyumba imejaa si mlango ulikuwa hata karibu ufungwe it was enough aseme now kuligana ukweli vile uliyoko vile hiyo nyumba imejaa na tumeingia saa tano na tumesikia wale walio ndani waliingia saa moja lazima kitabu tufikiwe kitabu tufikiwe it is hard si wali wali hesabu kwamba kuna wale wako pale mbele kuna wale wako katikati kuna wale wamejaa hali i want to announce to you now chochote bwana alikuelekeza atakufanyia hata kama umepata bei iko juu ukapata hali inazuia hali inafunga hali inakupinga ninakuamuru kwa mamlaka ya Roho Mtakatifu do not withdraw kwa maana kuna hatua inagojea na inagojewa the moment hali inakuambia haiwezekani Jesus is waiting for a decision to overcome that overcome the gap overcome the gap hallelujah i say in the name of jesus you are not late overcome the gap and i want to tell you friends whoever ameambiwa you are late uwezi ona mfaume wa faume vile hali ilivyo uwezi pata kazi vile hali ilivyo uwezi 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 nimo hapa kukuambia kwamba upokee ujasiri hao watu walisema tumekataa ku give up our son must be healed today na walipo up fanya hivyo wakapitia juu wakatobawa roof Kristo akawaona wanakuja waliokuwa ndio late wakawa ndio priority waliokuwa wanajihesabu wamechelewa wakawa ndio wako mbele i want to say the truth kuna hatu utachukua inaokataa kuzuiliwa and it will make you the first and the priority in the mind of the lord receive the courage i say receive the courage in jesus name in jesus name kutoka leo wengine umepita miaka kumi tangu mlango ule tangu mlango ufungwe i'm commanding you now hata ukija kesho utapata kumejaa hata ukija next week kumejaa na Yesu ajali he is waiting for another step mtu aba anasema afadhali hey nitoboe roof nilipe baadaye lakini sitakubali kwamba this is not my day nasema kutoka leo kataeni hiyo ujumbe wa kusema ulienda ukapata hakuna kazi ulienda ukapata uwezi pata visa ulie haleluya oh pigi yesu makofi pigi yesu makofi tena haleluya jesus the son of god haleluya do you have faith leo kuna mlango itafunguka anybody umeenda pale ukaangalia ukaona vile kumekaa wewe huwezi leo nitakunenea hatua ingine Mungu amengojea in your life mwanamke aliyetoka na damu 12 years do you know sheria ilikuwa inasema asitoke hadharani ananuka ninajizi but i uh, kitu whenever you meet jesus kuna sheria huisha e wewe uliyeitwa huna akili unahisi kwamba ndani ya kristo unaitwa jina mpya na moyo wako na moyo wa kristo zinavutana hey, that's what you discover nipo mkaribia i sensed in his mind kuna kitu kinaniambia mimi ni wa maana and i started moving kwake bila kujali wanadamu kwa maana ndani ya Kristo kuna kitu kinaniita jina lingine i says when i was worshiping in the heart of jesus i have a different name i have a different status na hiyo ndio inaniita nitakupita wewe nikupita wewe kwa maana ndani ya Yesu nimeitwa jina hapa usijawaitwa na watu in the name of jesus
Jesus Hallelujah Kuna kitu kinaniita where in the heart of Jesus Nimeitwa mujika nipo karibu ya Yesu nikahizi ndani yake oh miaka yote wanadamu ndio walikosea ndani yake ninaitwa mheshimiwa na hiyo kitu nanivuta kwake kutoka leo nataka kuona mnaenda bio bwana mnasema kuna kitu kinaniita kuna bio ninaenda ah isiyo kawaida nimekanyaga vya kwa sababu now ile bio naenda sipidi hata kwa barabara watu hey! kwa maana kuna kitu kinania kinaniita in Jesus in the lord na hisi i'm healed e, katika bwana na hisi kwamba nilikuwa ni wa mtu wa maana ninasikia mwito katika moyo wa mwokozi unaoniita jina ambao linapita laana zote linaoninenea kwamba nyumba yangu ni ya maana nilikuwa nikiomba nikaona doa yangu ndani ya Yesu hadi nikwambia uwezi olewa but when i prayed i perceived in Jesus kuna harusi kubwa kwa hivyo ninapita watu nimepita watu nataka kwenda hapo haleluya haleluya that's why mwanamke huyo aliyetoka na damu hakataki kujua nani anampenda nani ampendi hii mambo ya rejection hakuna haja rejection kupendwa na nini kuinuliwa chana naye bwana nime have discovered hey, hey, hey. Hallelujah. Niliambwa sijui mishipe imefungana siwezi zaa. But sasa nimekaribia. Nikaonyeshwa ndani ya Yesu nikaonyeshwa. Nimezaa watoto watatu. Sasa let me go. I want to be connected with what I sense in Jesus. Na sasa hiyo route is dangerous. Sometimes utapitia the wrong route. Si ya dhambi ya fujo unakuta bado kupitia kwa barabara umeuda jia yako kwa kichaka <laughs> unaenda wapi na yanienda ni jeje Yesu wako pale haleluya praise the lord Amen. I, just, i was kuna day i was going to preach for the tasia and then nikapata traffic jam pale vika road and and i and that time nilikuwa nakaa kimadhi estate No. Niliingia kwa petrosheni kapak gari nikafunga. Nikachukua boda boda, nikaambia kimbia haraka. Because I want to be preaching the, the next 10 minutes. Nikatokea nikaambia nikaombea watu wakapona nikaa gari iko wapi? Eh nikasema ndi siku nikuja boda boda kata nikimbia. You see, we ni mtu ambaye huwezi uilika. No vote ke gishira ke toyo. Ah. Eh ulikanyanga pale bao ikavujika ukakanyaka ingine pale kwa maana hii barabara inakusumbua ukaonekana the way you are moving ni kama una paa because kire uligudua unaitwa ndani ya moyo wa Kristo kinakuvuta kinakuvuta the new name is calling me the new glory is calling me i tell you hata sidali usiku kwa maana nataka nifike miguuni mwake na kile kitatoka ndani yake hey! hallelujah ora baba shakata wakati umefika wapendo discover your name new name in the lord your new glory in the lord oh hallelujah badaya kusema you are being rejected abia watu now miss jali munipende munipende i'm coming back later nikifika kwake ndio nitarudi nikifika kwake nipate jina jipya nitarudi na nikirudi nyinyi ndio mtanitafuta mi haleluya nitakuwa kama abraham aliitwa tasa akaitwa mujinga akaitwa majina mabaya kwa maana watu walimumalizia when he met with god god said according to what is in god abraham wewe ni baba wa mataifa dunia yote including wale walikutusi watabarikiwa 
kuwa dhuru na kwa maana nimegudua wanakuchezea nitakuogezea kava atakaye kulaani tamlaani atakaye kubariki nitambariki sasa wewe hauna shughuli na naye kupea sio kupenda wewe ni laani ulaaniwe ni bariki barikiwe we are not negotiating i am the carrier of the blessing i am the carrier of favor ni mimi ndio abase da wa bwana hata sasa sikitabidi nikusalimie ndio barikiwe ukikataa sasa utakaa na shida i am the carrier of favor i am the carrier nilimuona yesu sio tu kuponywa niliponywa nilichaguliwa nimwakilishe hey, hey, hey. we met with the lord i was healed and god did not only heal me he appointed me to represent him that's a zamani tushukrubani hii hezi cha leo let's start and worship the lord bwana mabwana nakupenda mungu wa utukufu ninakuinua nataka uinua mikono kwa bwana something is going to happen uh, something is going to happen now something is going to happen 